My name is Winnie Chen, and I am a registered dietitian. Happy New Year from Taiwan! I am doing this recording in my parents' house in Taiwan. It has just been such a crazy year. So glad that we made it through. The fact that you know we are able to do what is necessary for our family, for our job, and uh, um, uh, putting out a smiley face on camera is simply amazing. Hopefully, we'll have a better year next year. To um, celebrate the new year here, I have a, a gift to all of you to the universe is to share my passion about food and nutrition. And today's video is going to be talking about how we can boost our um, immunity through food and nutrition. So when we talk about you know immunity health, uh, there is four pillars that I'd like to share with you. And let me do a sh uh, share screen right now. So the four pillars of health, including a healthy lifestyle, cellular protection, cellular health, and cellular repair. So when we talk about, you know, boosting our immunities, you know, as you understand that many people who got the virus, either they are asymptomatic or they got over it in a few days. But there's also people who got the virus and are hospitalized and are in the ventilator. So how we can, you know, prevent ourselves from getting the virus, how we can efficiently fight it all if we got it, is what I really like to share with you today. So in terms of immunity health, you know, the, the first concept is lifestyle. So what are some healthy lifestyle that we can boost our uh, immunity? Number one is adequate sleep. You know that if you don't sleep well, you don't function well, your immunity goes down. So it's a very, we got good quality sleep. Try not to, you know, have too much uh, uh, access to the electronic device, you know, a couple hours before you go to sleep. Try not to drink too much water before you go to sleep so that, you know, you, 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 you don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Healthy lifestyle also means stress management. Everybody responds stress in a different level, in a different way. It is so important we find some different bag of tricks that we can cope our stress in a healthy way. Some people like to meditate. Some people like to just, you know, talk to their girlfriends or their friends. Some people like exercise. It's important that you find different way to relieve the stress so that if one doesn't work, you have other bags or tricks to make it work. Another part of healthy lifestyle that also boosts the immunity, obviously, is exercise. There's different type of exercise and uh, um, you really just have to find the one that works for you, that you enjoy it and you can do it in a consistent manner. I also believe a healthy lifestyle means routine, having a structure or even having some ritual. It gives you that spiritual fulfillment that I think is also helping you to, you know, uh, have a positive outlook in your life, which then will help you to boost your uh, immune systems. So having a routine, having structure, provide order, provide, uh, provide predictability, which also give you uh, a sense of order and uh, a positive outlook towards life. So everything we talk about today is a, uh, it's going to be focused on how we can you know, boost our uh, immune system. And uh, uh, when we talk about boosting your immune system, it's really about, you know, have the, uh, having good soldier to fight it off. It also makes sure that, you know, we have a strong fort, you know, our, our cellular health is strong. It also means that, you know, if we ever get attacked, we can repair easily. We can repair our fort easily. So that's why I mentioned the other three pillars, including cellular health, cellular protection, and cellular repair. So food, now, especially the plant food play important in promoting cellular health, cellular protection, cellular repairs. So what are those specific food uh, and uh, uh, vitamin minerals that are out there? Well, let me take a little, little quick share screen here. So when I talk about you know, immunity nutrition, right, it's really a, 
there's different vitamin, mineral, there's also the antioxidants, and there's also these vitamin chemicals that are found in food that all play in a role in promoting, you know, stronger cell bodies in order to, you know, protect ourselves. We also need to have good soldiers like the antioxidants. And also, we also have these, you know, wonderful photochemicals that help us to repair if we ever get attacks. So when we talk about you know, vitamin and minerals, let's talk about some of the, the key players here. So um, the ones I really like to focus are the vitamin C, vitamin D, and touch a little bit about vitamin A and vitamin E. So let's talk about vitamin C first. Vitamin C is, is, is known as a great antioxidant. Vitamin C is typically found in you know, citrus fruit. So anything that's sour, you know, it's a really good source of vitamin C. So your orange, your kiwi, your uh, passion fruit juice, uh, your, um, uh, your lemon, they're all excellent source of vitamin C. So, but things don't have to always taste sour to get the vitamin C. Uh, your leafy greens, uh, your cantaloupe, your bell pepper are actually are also excellent source of vitamin C. Uh, now, if you say, you know what, you know, citrus will give me ulcers, um, I can, I can um, eat them. So this then this might be a time you want to consider you know, taking a vitamin C supplement, which it come in a little gummy or it comes in a little you know, packet. Packet you put it in the water and you can. Drink. Now, another source of uh, vitamins that helps to boost our immunity is the vitamin D. You can get vitamin D through uh, two key sources, and one is the um, is your uh, uh, dairy, your um, your fish, and also your fortified uh, cereals. And you also can get your vitamin D through sun exposures. Now, vitamin D is actually a very common deficiency among Americans. So it shows just that people are not getting it enough. So in that case, the, taking a vitamin supplement is very important. Little tiny vitamin uh, uh, D supplement will, will, will help you to meet or exceed the need for the day. And I think during this special time, vitamin D supplementation probably is a good idea because a lot of people need to simply stay home or some people they don't drink milk or eat dairy products on a consistent basis. Vitamin A can be found in things that are orange in colors, such as your carrots, such as your sweet potato, such as your cantaloupe, anything that's orange usually has a lot of vitamin A in there. So vitamin A is also a good antioxidant. Uh, one thing about vitamin A is I think that you don't need to take the supplement because it's very easy to, to, to get them. And you can add carrots to you know, your stew. You can get carrots to your soup. Okay, you can also make a, a, a carrot juice. So, uh, or just shred some carrot into uh, your salad. One of my favorite ca uh, carrot dish is actually a carrot cauliflower soup. Basically, you just take one bag of carrots and a head of, uh, of cauliflower, add some you know, chicken broth, some garlics, and a teaspoon of cumin. That really makes you a very nice, you know, hearty soup for the winters. So um, I want to move on and then really also talk about the, uh, the minerals uh, really quickly. And uh, the, mineral, the key minerals that help to boost our immunity, including selenium, including iron, zinc, okay? So um, I think that unless you are identified with the discipline deficiency here, you pretty much could get uh, uh, most of them through you know, fortified cereals, through uh, food, through whole grains, um, um, Brazilian nuts actually is an excellent, excellent source of selenium. Oyster is an excellent, excellent source of zinc. Iron, people always think about is you know the leafy greens uh, and also the, uh, the, the the red meat uh, that give you an uh, excellent source. But you can also get it from the fortified uh, cereal as well. Like I said earlier, consistency, getting enough these nutrients is very important. If you feel like you don't, you don't have the consistency and you don't eat enough, okay, then I think at this time it's it's pretty much a good good idea to take a, a multi supplement to supplement your needs.
Now let's talk about uh, some of the specific urban spices that help to boost your uh, immunities. Um, some of my favorite, including you know garlic, right? Uh, when a recipe calls for three cloves of garlic, double it, make it six, okay? You can add these to soup. You can actually, you know, add this as a dipping sauce. I like to add like, you know, maybe three or four garlic and chop it really fine and mix with some uh, olive oil and then, you know, dip my, my bread. Or also, you know, uh, dip, uh, mix it with like parsley or uh, cilantro and then just pour it over on uh, my grilled chicken you get a really nice uh, flavor, but also you get that immune system, uh, immune, Im immuno protection uh, as well. Uh, another good uh, herb spice is the gingers. Uh, you can, you know, do ginger with um, with soup, with sauteing vegetables, obviously. And what I also like to do is I like to braid these ginger to about, you know, one teaspoon or even one tablespoon. And I like to um, mix it with some uh, of my frozen, um, um, pineapple and then just drink it like that. Mm. Berry is an excellent, excellent source of, of uh, antioxidants and it also has a lot of what we call phytochemicals. So the word phytochemicals means just these chemicals found in fruit or vegetables and, and they are not uh, vitamins and minerals. So we give them a different category called phytochemicals. Uh, you can, you probably hear uh, names like, you know, polyphenol, you probably hear names like plant asterol. So they basically, these are just uh, chemicals found in food that also help to promote better health. So I really like berries, all kinds of berries, blueberry, strawberry, cranberry, raspberry, and, and even grapes. You know, these things are, are loaded with, you know, phytochemicals to boost your nutrition. Uh, when it comes to fruits and vegetables, I want to say fresh is very important. If you leave your fruits out there for four or five days, they don't look appetizing at all. So if you want to eat fresh fruits and vegetables, make sure they are fresh. And look at this, you know, this, this plum of grapes. Aren't they beautiful? It just makes you want to, you know, you want to eat them. So fresh, look at um, this uh, orange. Look at it, it's just so fresh. And I just, it just really want to make you to eat it. And, and another of my favorite uh, antioxidant food is this pomegranate. Look at this, so beautiful. Uh, I'm, because I'm in Taiwan right now, you know, we also have beautiful, you know, guava and, uh, uh, and passion fruit definitely is one of my favorite as well. So fruits and vegetables following a plant-based diet, it's a key in promoting uh, good health and nutrition. But like I said earlier, you know, if you feel like you don't have the consistency, if you feel like you don't eat enough, you know, so you might want to consider um, uh, taking some uh, supplements. Uh, a multi-supplement is something I do every day. I also like to take extra vitamin C, uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, omega-3 fatty acids uh, from, from, from the supplementation. Or you can, you know, if you don't want to take it, you can also consider nuts. You can also, you know, eat some uh, uh, fatty fish, such as salmon. All right, so uh, in a nutshell, you know, I know I have very limited time here. I just want to say that, you know, to boost our immune system, you really need to make sure that you have a, a healthy lifestyle. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, adequate sleep, stress management, exercise. And then when we talk about, you know, immunity, it's about protecting ourselves, making ourselves strong, and also have the ability to uh, re repair. So our plant food, our fresh fruits and vegetables with the specific vitamin, minerals, and phytochemical chemical that I mentioned earlier all play a very important role. So cheer to good health and cheer to a peaceful, joyous 2021. See you next time.